Hey everybody, it's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences and this is Monday Minute. Last week on Monday Minute, we uh, went over what you should stop doing. And many of you did and had great results and I really appreciate the feedback. So smash that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Thanks so much. All right, let's get into this. So last week I covered a lot of ground. Uh, this week I want to create some clarity about models that are native or custom. And can native models be downloaded from x -Lite? And the answer is, you're not going to believe this. Yeah, yeah, they can. That's where this guy came from. I didn't create this manually. Manually creating props are good for stars and for arches, depending on how you have them wired or where you get them from. But a prop like this from Gilbert Engineering, the Grand Illusion with a thousand nodes or 640 nodes with the mother of all reefs from Gilbert Engineering or their flakes. This is a flake B. These are fine to download from x -Lights, and here's why. The Coral vendors are able to upload native files to x -Lights. so when you download them, you're not forced to have the custom version. These are the native versions, and the reason this is possible is because these already include all the submodel groups you see over here. We don't want you to have to recreate those and bring those in manually. That just creates a mess. So just because it downloads from x -Lice does not necessarily mean it's a custom model. It could be native. And so when we look at this and we go over here, we see that that's a circle. Same thing with this. That's a circle. We look at this guy over here, the star, that's a custom model because it says it. It's proven. It says it. All right, so I just wanted to be clear on that. Also, uh, if you had more than one of the Grand Illusions, you could go up here and download more, or you could simply right-click, export as a custom model or x -Lights model. Now, be careful here. Do not export this as a custom x -Lights model. You can get yourself in some hot water. No, 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 no. Don't do that just export it as an x -Lights model, throw it on the desktop, and save. And then it's gonna open up this dialog box right here that says, cool, do you want me to include all the submodels that are attributed with this? Yes, please. And when you do that, you can now import that same model. We'll just place it underneath here. We'll go over here to our desktop. We see the GE Grand Illusion. We'll open it. It's going to say, okay, hold up. We recognize all these submodels. Do you want to put them in the same submodel groups that's with the original Rosa Grand, or <laughs> Grand Illusion? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. And you click yes, and there you go. It puts them all in here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this, and then I'm gonna click on the second one, right click, resize, match size. And then I'm gonna go over here to my grand illusions, to the hooks, and we'll see, or well, let's do something a little more separated. Let's do this, there we go, or whirly wigs. You'll see that it has already put all these submodels from the second one you imported all in their proper places. How cool is that, right? Long-winded, long story short, uh, models that you download from here could be native or they could be custom. All right, let's get into the second part that is, uh, I think, so important because so many of you took my advice and you replaced these custom uh, mega stars with the proper star. But what about the attributes of this that you've had in your show all this time, maybe all these years? What about the controller it belongs to? What about the output number? Are you gonna have to reset that up when you replace it? No, 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 not at all. Uh, this star and this arch belong to a Colt K8. They both have uh, port numbers that you can see here. This is on port two, this is on port one. And so when you start moving things around, especially on the larger uh, dense models that might have more than two, three, or four ports, uh, you're going to have to write these notes down and then reestablish those connections? No, 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 not at all. Do this. 
click on the good star that you want to replace the old star with. Right click, okay, in the middle, replace a model with this model. Replace the bad star with the good star. And it's gonna ask you, which star? Well, you come down here and say, well, it's the original megastar I wanna replace. Great, it's gonna say, should I replace the model start channel, the Culp controller, all these attributes, the channel starts, should I replace all that? Yes, absolutely. Uh, what about merge of submodels? Yes. And there we go. Boom. Then we also have this one. Let's do the same thing. We're going to replace this rashly looking custom arch with this nice brand new leathery smelling arch that's native. Right click, replace a model with this model. Which one? We want to replace the arch, arch one. Do you want to replace all the attributes? Yes. Uh, do you want to replace the sub models? Uh, sure, we can take a look at those, why not? Let's see. And save, and we'll scoot this over. Now here, here's a challenge for the dev, something that, that uh, would be really kind of cool. The previous models had uh, different brightness levels. They were at 20%, let's say, and the pixel size was maybe at three. Wouldn't it be nice if that, when I replace the attributes, it also brings over the attributes of brightness and pixel size, any of that kind of stuff, maybe even gamma, just, just food for thought. Otherwise you gotta do this and right click, bulk edit. You gotta go over here to your brightness and we can say, okay, set the brightness to, I don't know, for this case, 20 or 30, whatever's good for your show. Then if I need to do this, uh, this is something I'd asked of Dan uh, quite a while back was being able to change the pixel size. And now we can change that to three all at one time and bada boom, bada bang, we're done. Cool stuff, right? Really cool stuff. But anyway, this is an easy way to replace models and keep the channel and controller information intact. As always, bring me your questions, thoughts, or concerns. I'm happy to help out. I hope this has been helpful for you. Be sure to smash the like, thumbs up, <laughs> and please subscribe to the channel. It really does help. This the time is not free, folks. It's not, and I enjoy doing these, but uh, help a brother out if you can. That's been Monday Minute. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.